Business owners at an Oak Park strip mall are picking up the pieces today after flames tore through that spot early this morning. The fire broke out just after 4 a.m. in the 1700 block of Euclid Avenue. The fire not only destroyed some businesses, but it also caused some other problems near the scene. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. We have team coverage for you on this whole mess. CBS 8's Chris Grow joining us live near the scene of the fire. That's where some homes were flooded after crews had to douse the flames. But we're going to start our coverage now with CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal live right outside that strip mall. You can see the damage right there behind you, Kelly. That's right, and we're near Euclid and Federal Boulevard, and uh, there are about six or seven businesses here in this portion of the strip mall, and uh, we're told that fire crews were only able to save four of them. Now, we're told the fire started in a dumpster and spread into the attic of the building. Once the, the fire from that dumpster um, extended up into the attic, uh, it rapidly ran the almost the entire structure. And so the truck companies up on the roof made an aggressive effort with a trenching operation. We had units inside with hose lines. And so here is video of what it looked like out here shortly after the fire started. So this was the scene around 4 a.m. Uh, firefighters got several 911 calls about a dumpster fire. Uh, the flame spread so quickly that when crews arrived, the building was already on fire. About 100 firefighters from several different departments that were out here, San Diego, uh, National City, Heartland Fire. Uh, they had ladder crews working to attack the fire from up above. Uh, but again, as you heard the battalion chief say, once the fire got into the attic, it spread very quickly. Now the flames shot through the roof. All seven businesses suffered some damage, uh, but four suffered the worst damage in our total loss. Uh, some of the businesses include a barber shop, a cell phone store. Uh, fire crews have been out here for the past seven hours or so, and they remain out here mopping up hot spots. So back out here live. Uh, now the Metro Arson Strike Team has been out here as well. They've also got the bomb squad out here only because they're about to put up their drones to get a better aerial look at the top of the building. Now at this point, we still do not know a cause, but firefighters, uh, as you mentioned earlier, they had to dump so much water on this fire that it actually led to some problems in the neighborhood uh, behind the strip mall. For the latest on that, let's go to CBS 8's Chris Grow. Chris? And we're right now, we're on Altadena, which is just below that strip mall. And I want to get out of the way here and show you the extent of that damage. Again, what we're talking about here is a retaining wall and a fence completely knocked out by a lot of that flooded water. Now, of course, we know that the firefighters had to use a lot of water, but we also know that it's been raining and that the ground is saturated. And you can see that crack there in that uh, little hillside uh, just behind all of these homes. And then, of course, the floodwaters uh, that gave way and got into some of these homes. In fact, what we're seeing right now is some crews, some private third party crews that are already coming out to clean up some of the damage that was left behind. But we also know that there is uh, going to be or already an arborist from the city, those city crews out here as well too, to inspect some of the trees that are on that hillside just between the strip mall and these homes just to make sure that they are still stable, that they can still stay there safely or they may have to make some sort of preparations. We don't know exactly what could potentially be on the table, but that is sort of the summary of the unintended consequences, if you will, of the firefight that occurred. Again, the ground becoming so saturated that that retaining wall gave way, those fences gave way, and we see that damage there to a lot of the backyards and even some of that water getting into the homes. Want to play for you now in a little bit of a conversation that we had with one of the residents in this area, waking up to not only the news of the fire happening just behind them, but then the subsequent flooding. There was about three, four feet of water in the back of my backyard going down from the hillside on the back of my uh, backyard. So it broke down my retaining wall for the water to potentially try and save my backyard, but the retaining wall did end up breaking from the amount of water that was used to put out the fire. And the bit of good news, if you will, is that what we heard from that gentleman is that insurance is likely going to take care of a lot of the cleanup costs and some of that damage that occurred. Because, again, this was through no fault of anyone's, again, a fire happening in the strip mall behind them, 
water is obviously needed to go ahead and put that out. And we've had so much rain, the ground saturated with water. And this is just unfortunately something that happened as a result of that. So again, uh, we also know that city crews are out here. If there are any updates from them about the trees and potentially that hillside, we'll be sure to let you know on CBS8.com.